North Korea's latest missile test is drawing attention both because of the timing and some key differences with what we normally see. Let's take a closer look. Unusually late in the day for a North Korean test, it launched multiple short-range ballistic missiles westward Thursday instead of the usual eastward pattern. South Korea's Joint Chiefs of Staff detected an initial launch from the North's western port city of Nampo at 6.20pm. They also seem to follow an unusual trajectory, with North Korea perhaps shortening its range to avoid upsetting China given that these missiles were landing in the Yellow Sea. The test took place in the wake of joint military drills involving South Korea and the US, featuring B-1B and B-52H strategic bombers, and as the Allies are preparing to kick off their wide-ranging Freedom Shield and Warrior Shield exercises from Monday. Within this month, the US is also expected to deploy a nuclear-powered aircraft carrier to the Korean Peninsula, in addition to a nuclear-powered submarine. North Korea has clearly been upset by all this. On Tuesday, the leader's sister Kim Yo-jong warned the North is ready to take overwhelming actions against military activities by the Allies, repeating a similar threat from Pyongyang last month. And North Korean state media announced Friday that leader Kim Jong-un had a day earlier inspected a fire assault drill involving an artillery unit charged with the important operational task of the Korean People's Army on the Western Front. And by the way, his daughter and potential successor Jue was once again in attendance based on accompanying images. Her father insisted on the need to overwhelmingly respond to any war preparations by the enemy though he was also quoted as insisting the goal is to be ready in order to thoroughly deter the danger of a military clash on the Korean Peninsula. And apparently this focus on the Western Front was at least partly to simulate the main elements of the enemy's operational airfield. It all adds up to an immediate threat to South Korea and the US forces based here. The American State Department issued a counter-warning within hours of North Korea's latest missile test. As a spokesperson said, the US is seeking, alongside its global partners, to make clear to the North that the costs are going to continue to increase until and unless it changes its approach. Yet, North Korea knows the US is unable right now to impose further sanctions via the UN Security Council because of opposition from China and Russia. And it seems that not only is the North gambling the US won't actually use its major military assets in this region, it's using their presence as an excuse to develop its own very real nuclear weapon capabilities.